This chart displays the yield spread, which indicates the likelihood of a recession or recovery one year forward. The gray bars show economic recessions. The yield spread dove further into negative territory, averaging negative 0.79 in the first half of December 2022. This negative yield spread figure signals the cooldown has set in and a recession is now inevitable in the next 6 to 12 months. That's right, let the recession countdown begin. While an undeclared recession settled over real estate activity in the second quarter of 2022, especially weighing on the housing market with sales volume and prices spiraling, the timing of the yield spread inversion signals the official recession for the California economy will arrive around the third quarter of 2023. Real estate professionals who plan to make a living in the downturn will take proactive steps to recession-proof their practice today. This chart shows the number of homes listed on the multiple listing service in California's largest metros, in other words, the for sale inventory. After 2021's steep decline, Inventory in California's largest metros as of November 2022 averages 14% above a year earlier. The inventory surge is currently steepest in Riverside, with 24% more listings than a year earlier as of November 2022. On the other hand, San Jose is seeing just the slightest increase in inventory for sale, up a sparse 3% from a year earlier. For California broadly, expect inventory to climb further in 2023. When inventory grows and home prices plummet, home buyers tend to take a wait and see approach. The focus for real estate agents then pivots to buyers who are willing and able to acquire property during a downturn. In a buyer's market, sellers seeking to stand out will offer seller financing. Agents who are familiar with these types of seller carryback financing arrangements will be poised to profit from listings during the downturn. This old dynamic, fast re-emerging in the real estate market points to sellers as the ones who now must bend to meet the pricing permitted by a buyer's income and today's mortgage rates. This chart shows the number of jobs held by California residents. The gray bars represent periods of economic recession. California's jobs market, with 17.8 million Californians employed in October 2022, finally surpassed the pre-recession peak. But while jobs continued to climb in late 2022, the pace of the jobs recovery has weakened monthly. Meanwhile, the property market recession arrived in the second half of 2022, slashing the fees of real estate agents and mortgage loan originators. Some have opted for a career change while employers are still offering the chance. But career real estate professionals will switch their practice into services needed by the buyer and the foreclosure side of the market that springs to life during a recession. This includes pursuing additional streams of income within the industry, such as becoming a notary public, mortgage loan originator, property manager, real estate syndicator, real estate exchanger, or foreclosure short sale expert. Experienced sales agents may also consider becoming a broker, which grants access to a higher income. Greater earnings flow to licensed brokers, whether as a result of negotiating a better fee split with their employing broker or simply taking on the risk and profits of running their own business.